Our celebration will now begin. So we now consciously connect our own self with our personal God as we say in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Happy Pentecost Sunday. And for us to become worthy to participate in this highest form of prayer, the highest form of connection, the Holy Mass, we pause for a moment, close our eyes, bow our heads as we say sorry for all the sins and mistakes that we have committed. We believe that our God is a very loving and forgiving God. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life, which is everlasting. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who by the mystery of today's great feast, sanctify your whole church in every people and nation. For out we pray the gifts of the Holy Spirit across the face of the earth and with the divine grace that was at work when the gospel was first proclaimed. Feel now once more the hearts of believers through our Lord Jesus Christ, her Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, there were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in different tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, and Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. soul. O Lord my God, you are great indeed. How manifold are your works, O Lord! The earth is full of your creatures. May the Lord be glad in his works, pleasing to him by my theme, I will be glad in the Lord. If 
you take away their breath, they perish and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the Spirit is given for some benefit. As a body is one, though it has many parts, and all the parts of the body, though many are one body, so also Christ. For in one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please remain seated for the sequence. Come. Guide 
steps that go astray. Oh, no faith. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me and obey the commands I give you, I will ask the Father and he will give you another paraclete to be with you always. Anyone who loves me will be true to my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling place with him always. He who does not love me does not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine. It comes from the Father who sent me. This much have I told you, while I was still with you. The paraclete, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will instruct you in everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Isa po mapagpalang hapon sa inyong lahat. So, ito na nga po ang ating kapistahan ay pinagdiriwang sa araw na ito, Pentecost Sunday, is the descent of the uh, Holy Spirit, ang pagbaba ng banal na Espiritu Santo. So, last Sunday, we celebrated the solemnity of the, Asam of the Ascension. Jesus was Jesus went back to the Father. Umakyat si Jesus pabalik sa Ama. So look at the movement of God. Ang paggalaw ng Diyos. I just love it. Pag-akyat, pagbaba. And remember that our God took the initiative to participate in human history. Tuwang-tuwa po ako sa pagninilay ng ating Diyos. Ayan Diyos na nakikilahok sa kasaysayan para magkaroon ng saysay ang buhay. Pwede po bang pakitanong ang katabi, may saysay ba ang buhay mo? O di ba? May meaning ba? Ako, I, I'm so grateful that our God participates in our life. Nakikiisa, nakikilahok. Ano ang gusto ng Diyos? Bakit siya bumababa? Bakit siya umaakyat? May bababa na naman. Number one, para tayo ay patuloy na gabayan. 
ang Diyos ay nakikiisa, nakikilahok to guide us as we live our life here on earth. Pero mayroon pang mas malalim dyan. Pangalawa, ano ang gusto ng Diyos? Tulungan tayo upang umangat ang antas ng ating pamumuhay. I just love reading the books of Peter Diamandis. Abundance, the future is better than what you think. And then he wrote another book, Bold. And then the last, the third book is about the future is not only not on, the future is not only good, better, the future is even faster than what we think. It's very positive, no? So with that, I also look at life in that perspective. I am incurably optimistic of life. And we are blessed that we have God who participates in our human life here on earth. Diba? Kaya maganda yun eh. Gusto ng Diyos, tumataas ang ating buhay. Kaya itaas mo, SMB. Wow, parang. Yes. Ano yung SMB? Itaas mo, spirit, mind, and body. Alam po natin, pag tumaas yung ating spirito, tumaas yung ating isip, tataas ang katawan. No? Tataas talaga. Aangat ang buhay. And I, I believe in integral ascension, ang pag-angat ng lahat. Pag nag-angat ang isang tao, membro sa pamilya, ang pamilya aangat. Pag umangat ang pamilya, aangat ang bayan, aangat ang bansa. Pag umangat ang bansa, ay aangat ang buong mundo. So we are one family. Itaas mo, SMB. At tuwan-tuwa ko dito, itaas ang antas ng kamalayan. May mga dalaga pa ba dito? Pag maghahanap kayo ng partner sa buhay, ang hanapin mo, yung taong, yung lalaki, kung babae ka, mataas ang antas ng kamalayan. At may Diyos, may Espiritu. Guaranteed ito. You will live a successful life with your partner. At sa ating lahat, itong kinakailangan, itaas ang antas ng kamalayan. Kasi ang gusto nga ng Diyos, Iangat ang kabuhayan natin dito sa lupa At hindi lang sa lupa Patungo sa langit Kaya mas maganda sabihin May langit sa lupa Amen Di ba napakasarap doon? Kaya pag maganda ang iyong pag-iisip Ano mang pagsubok na dumarating sa buhay Malalampasan We could transcend any challenge Any problem that come our way Pero ang tanong Ano ang pwedeng mangyari pag hindi tayo umangat at walang banal na espiritu? Let me cite two current events. We have heard most probably in the news, we have read in the broadsheet, in the newspaper, what's happening in Sri Lanka. There is an economic crisis. In fact, not just a crisis, it is an economic meltdown. Bakit? Maraming utang. Anong utang? Dollars. Hindi nakabayad. Default. Dahil default, nandyan ang inflation, nandyan ang mga kagulo na sila, nandyan na ang protesta, maski may pera ka, wala ka namang mabili, at lahat pila-pila. Bakit? Mababa ang antas ng kamalayan, walang espiritu. Ang mga namumuno, Kaya ito ang mangyayari sa buhay. It could lead to a chaotic life. A very chaotic situation. For almost four months now, only because of one person and the blind followers of Putin, his army, because of that, there is no global disruption. Even our food security is affected. Dead. Grabe, no? Kaya mahirap magkaroon ng isang pinuno kagaya ni Putin nagkakagulo ang mundo and this Ukraine-Russia conflict is affecting the whole world it's creating world problems particularly with regard to food supply Bakit po? Eto 
Because of that, nagkakaroon na ngayon din ng global financial crisis because of the sanctions. Lakasin ng loob ni Putin. Siya pa magpuputol ng gas supply pipeline to Europe. Pag sinabi natin nagtaasa ng suwe, ang nagtaasa ng mga presyo, that's inflation. So, we are affected. And how much, how many countries are dependent on Russian oil? 45% Europe. At, well, we are not directly affected by the production of wheat because we order not from Russia nor in Ukraine. Our wheat comes from US, Canada, and Australia. Pero affected pa rin kasi yung hindi masupplyan ng Russia at Ukraine, pag order din sa US, sa Canada, sa Australia, affected naman ang presyo natin. Even the fertilizer, 65% coming from these two countries. Kaya, ayan na naman, inflation, taasan ng presyo. So, with that, it only proves, pag wala kang Diyos, wala kang Espiritu Santo, mababa ang kamalayan ng kaisipan, it will lead to global problem. Kaya itaas mo spirit, mind, and body. Yes, to integral ascension. Iangat natin at tanggapin natin ang pagbaba ng banal na Espiritu Santo. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. And this is the beauty of having faith. Ito ang kagandahan ng may pananampalataya. Lalo na may banal na Espiritu. Two great events happened during the Pentecost. First, it's the outpouring of the Holy Spirit to the apostles. Masarap nam namin yung unang pagbaba ng banal na Espiritu Santo. Remember, the apostles were hiding themselves inside that, inside the upper room. Takot na takot. But when Jesus entered the lock room, he breathed on them and said, Peace be with you. Pwede po bang hingahan nyo yung katabi? <sighs> Yan ano. <laughs> Hininga ang banal na Espiritu. No? And peace, shalom, ang ganda. At naging matapang. So suddenly there was a conversion. The apostles became brave. Instead of just staying, nagmumukbok inside the upper room, they went out. Second great event that happened, Pentecost is the birth of the church. Kaya pwede bang sabihin natin sa simbahan, Happy Birthday. Kaya ang simbahan na ngayon may mga sakramento, kagaya ng misa, this is the presence of Jesus. The presence of Jesus on earth through the church to our leader and we are so blessed. We have Pope Francis Ang dami niyang ini-introduce na magaganda na reforma sa loob ng simbahan. At ganun din, His Excellence, our, His Eminence, Luis Antonio Cardinal Tagle, isang Pilipino na ang daming responsibility sa Vatican. So with that, napakaganda. So in this Mass today, as we celebrate the Pentecost, Let's receive the Holy Spirit. In what way can we receive the Holy Spirit? Receive the gifts and fruits of the Spirit. Napakaganda. Just to sum up, just to summarize, pag sinabi kasi natin gifts, wisdom, understanding. Anong pinupuntirya yun? Pag sinabi naman natin fruits, love, joy. Diba? To sum up, Kaya pala, pag tinanggap ang Espiritu, tinanggap ang kanyang handog, gift, at ang kanyang fruits. Ano uli? Ang gifts, ang puntirya, understanding, knowledge, wisdom. Ito ang pinupuntirya. Tinan niyo po ang inyong katabi, may utak ba yan? Yan! Pero yung utak na yan, may Espiritu ba yan? Puno ba yan ng dunong at love? Joy. Anong pinupuntirya? Heart. At tum dalawang nilang ito. If there is wisdom and there is love in every human here on earth, 
at hindi nagtatapos doon ang may dunong sa isip, ang may pag-ibig sa puso, lalabas sa kamay. And these are the three H's, head, heart, and hand. But for us Filipinos, hindi tayo nagumpisa sa head, kaya sa heart, kaya Q&A portion. Feel mo? Feel ko, di ba? Ulit. Feel mo? Gets mo? Yun! Pag sinabi mong feel mo, my love, gets mo, my dunong, at saan lalalabas, gawin mo, gagawin ko. So ito ang tao. Ang tao sa mundo, ang tao sa pamilya, ang tao sa simbahan, may isang dapat takbo ng pag-iisip. Merong dapat one head, at merong dapat nag-iisang puso, at isa-isang gumagalaw na nagbibigay ng serbisyo. Pag mayroong kang one head, may wisdom, one heart, may love, at one hand, tunay na nagsisilbi. What a beautiful world we live in. What a family to live in. So with that, ito ang ibig sabihin. Finally, this is the normal curve. Pag sinabi natin normal, aba, ay di with wisdom, with love, with service, ayan yung curve niya. E pa paano kung wala ka sa normal? Anong tawag doon? You are moving away from normal. What will happen? You become abnoy. Mukhang abnormal. Ayun, di ba? Away from normal. Pag away from normal, dahil ikaw ay lumihis, lumayo sa normal, ano mangyayari? No more wisdom, no more love, no more service. Eh ano na ngayon? Babalik ka sa chaos. Kaya ang kinakailangan sa mga sandaling ito, let's experience Pentecost. I invite you to close your eyes, bow your heads, and let the Spirit fill our mind with wisdom, fill our hearts with love, and fill our hands with action. Silently, just ask the following questions. Feel mo? Gets mo? Gawin mo? Gawin natin. At sama-sama, slowly open your eyes, rise, umangat tayong lahat, at atin po ngayon, tumayo na po, umangat. Ayon yung tumayo. Tumayo na tayo, please rise. And now we profess our faith and say, I believe in one God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On a third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We invoke the Holy Spirit that He may be empowered by the risen Christ, relentless love, and redemption as we say. Father, make us bearers of the fire of your love. Father, make us bearers of the fire of your love. For the Church, may Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, and lay people bear fruitful witness to the Holy Spirit, who was manifest in the first Pentecost and is still present today. In their discernment and their choices, they make for the Church and all the people of goodwill. We pray. Father, make us bearers of the fire of your love. For all who serve in government, 
May the policies they make and their implementation of the constitutions reflect your loving kindness. May the spirit of truth reign unopposed in their hearts. We pray. Father, make us bearers of the fire of your love. For those who are undergoing great suffering, may they find consolation in the warmth of your love found in the presence and help of people around them. We pray. Father, make us bearers of the fire of your love. For our departed loved ones, welcome them into your eternal communion in heaven. May their bereaved families find consolation through their love and care for each other. We pray. Father, make us bearers of the fire of your love. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community in our personal intentions. We pray. Father, make us bearers of the fire of your love. Almighty Father, your Son sent the Holy Spirit so you may gather us back to your communion. Set our hearts aflame with the gifts of your Spirit that we may bear fruits towards the building of your kingdom here on earth through Christ our Lord. Amen. So pray now, my dear friends, that this our sacrifice and our own personal intentions may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as promised by your Son, the Holy Spirit may reveal to us more abundantly the hidden mystery of this sacrifice and graciously lead us into all truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. To whom do you lift up your hearts? We lift them up to the Lord. So let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for bringing your Paschal mystery to completion, you bestow the Holy Spirit today on those you made your adopted children by uniting them to your only begotten Son. This same Spirit, as the Church came to birth, opened to all peoples the knowledge of God and brought together the many languages of the earth in profession of one faith. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host. 
sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fun of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, you pray, by sending down your script on them like a dew fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, a bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, Honesto our Bishop, and all the clergy, the religious your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O Lord, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints, St. Arnold Johnson, St. Joseph Pinadimets, the SBD martyrs, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Show to the Father 
that we have the spirit in us and our consciousness is also going up as we sing the prayer which our Lord Jesus Christ himself taught us. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all unnecessary distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, at the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Lord, Look not on our sins, look not on our imperfections, weaknesses, limitations, failures. Look not on our idiosyncrasies. But Lord, look on the faith of your church. Look, Lord, on the faith of the Filipino people. Look, Lord, on the faith of our sisters and brothers in Ukraine and the faith of these people gathered in your name at this very moment. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and never amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit we ascended jesus the holy spirit in god the father in our hearts we now share our sweetest smile as the sign of peace to one another peace Titigan po natin ang ating mananaklop ang Kristo. Look at our Redeemer, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Divine Word, our Emmanuel, God is with us. The Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, happy are those who are called to His supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. Reminder, Holy Communion will be done by Rose. Kindly wait for the ushers to guide you accordingly. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who bestow heavenly gifts upon your church, serp guard, we pray the grace you have given that the gift of the Holy Spirit poured out upon her may retain all its force and that this spiritual food may gain her abundance of eternal redemption. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Arnold Jansen and Saint Joseph Freinademitz, pray for us. So I would like to express my uh, sincerest gratitude to all of you to our commentator, Brother Wayne Gimora, to our le lector, Sister Michelle, and to our uh, lay ministers, uh, Attorney Romy and the two companions, and to our servers, Tintin and Vincent, to our choir, Ray, and to the Shrine Media. So, Brother Alan Robinson, Brother Jane, good thing. Uh, Sister Divine Grace, Toyeras, and City Oi. At sa ating pong greeters, collectors, maraming maraming salamat po. Palakpakan po natin ang lahat. So next Sunday will be the solemnity of the Blessed Trinity and then Corpus Christi. This is what we call the series of solemnities. Receive God's blessings. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May God, the Father of lights, who was pleased to enlighten the disciples' mind by the outpouring of the Spirit, the paraclete, grant you gladness by His blessing and make you always abound with the gifts of the same Spirit. Amen. May the wondrous flame that appeared above the disciples powerfully cleanse your hearts from every evil and pervade them with its purifying light. Amen. And may God, who has been pleased to unite many tongues in the profession of one faith, give you perseverance in that same faith and by believing may you journey from hope to clear vision. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit count down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Eucharistic celebration has just ended, but our mission begins. begins. Go with Jesus, go with the Holy Spirit, go with God the Father, because God goes with you. Thanks be to God.